There he is. Okay, let's not play the guitar while we talk to Brad. We will get there. This is kind oh, we of got fun. a co-host. Look at Good this. Good morning. Yes, I, I didn't realize what how late it was going to be and that he I had school. I love it. So he's, he's ready. He's got really burning questions. I hope okay. you're ready for us. That's what, I, that's what I'm ready for. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. It's great to see you, too. Thank you so much for doing this with us. I'm glad um, to. I have a lot of envious friends, and I know that we just uh, heard "Good Day," and we're we're so pumped to have you on the program. And if you're just waking up on the West Coast, make sure you tune in the GMA because Brett's going to be on there. But um, let's just start with that. I mean, it's been three years. We've been waiting for this music. How's it feel? Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty surreal. I mean, I I, I kind of took a, a couple of years completely unplugged. Um, and this kind of focused on myself and kind of uh, getting getting to a place personally and, and then uh, musically to where I, what, I could uh, really take myself to, a, to another place in my life and, and my music. And I think uh, sometimes you got, you got to give yourself permission to step away. And I think that's what I did. And, and uh, it feels really good to be back and, and uh, um, have some music out there. And, and, and uh, it's exciting. Especially right now, for people to have a good day means even more. It means something totally different than it would have mm. six months ago. No doubt. Uh, and I, I, I wrote it. I was, I was really going through a, a time where I was just kind of focusing on negativity. You know, just I mean, it's easy to find things, negative things to focus on. You know, we naturally go to that place in our minds um, sometimes, and 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 so I, I would catch myself in that pattern. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to uh, change that. So, you know, waking up in the morning, you know, making your bed, looking out the window and uh, seeing no matter what weather's out there, whatever it is, you know, it's going to be a good day. I'm going to, I'm going to make the best of this day. And, and uh, even if everything's stacked against you. And, and I think uh, that is important at a time, a time like this, uh, just to get, just to get that optimism. You know, I think we could all, you know, and it's really tough right now. And, uh, but if we get some optimism and lean into each other and help each other and and uh, our, also our own mental health and minds, yeah. uh, I think that's big too. Well, this weekend I was weeding and the kind of day where you like started by pulling one weed. I'm like, I'm not going to do this. And then I weeded for two hours. And I was thinking about mental health because I am a huge advocate and I know you are too. But I pulled out and the weeds always not only grow the fastest, they're so invasive, but they have those deep, deep roots. And I think that's the one thing I was thinking of that's negativity, you know, like oh, it yeah. goes fast and we amplify it fast. So how do you, with good day and with the lyrics and just with life, how do you um, combat that? What's your, what's your biggest thing that you've been doing? Maybe something personal lately that you've been doing. Um, I try to give myself some self-compassion. Like um, I'm, I'm very, I always say a recovering perfectionist, I guess in some ways where I'm always beating myself up, you know, I'm just uh, I'm tough on myself. And so in a time like this, I've been, I've been trying to be kinder to myself and, and not, uh, not just not be so hard on myself. I think that's a big deal. So, I mean, you know, uh, I get out, I'll go on hikes and, and, uh, just get out in the woods by myself and, and, uh, take some time for myself and then, uh, and then connect with, with, uh, family and friends and people I care about and call them up the phone, even when it feels like it's, uh, uh, easier to sit on your couch and, watch a movie or something i think a lot of the time when you when you 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 do what's not comfortable um it'll make you feel a lot better every time you know what i mean so i think those kind of things have been things to make my 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 bad days good days or or you know just the the tougher days a good day is uh is connecting with others and connecting with myself by by getting outside and and uh and uh, and also meditating i'm big into that yeah. too so that's what we've been doing too. And rec it's funny you say recovering perfectionist. I like that a lot because even at his age, he's four and we talk about not being perfect all the time. Right. Cause he's already doing, do you remember the beginning of how it started? How, cause I, it's not like, I don't think I'm teaching it to him, but I mm -hmm. see myself in him already. And we talk a lot about, you don't have to be perfect and mistakes have Brett Eldridge tell you age. Listen, Mistakes happen all the time and they're good, right? <laughs> yes, mistakes happen all the time. Happened to me uh, already this morning and everything. But it does, you know. It's it's it's, and once you start accepting that, it's it's a beautiful thing. So yeah, you you let all mistakes happen. That's all right. Yeah, 
and it's gonna happen. We've been practicing piano and music, but music, yeah. I assume. Is... I'm learning piano right now too. So you are? Yeah, oh, that's, that's what awesome. I've been. That's my other quarantine thing I've been doing is I've been, at the start of quarantine I wanted to learn something that I haven't or focus on something that I haven't been able to or or given myself the time to, and and that was piano. I play guitar all the time, but piano is something that I've always wanted to play. So. I started playing and practicing and then every night before I go to bed and uh, it's like a routine for me, you know, I, nice. I play piano and I've learned like an extra little part of the song or whatever. And then I'll, then I'll write, I, I finish that and then I'll write, I'll go over to a dry erase board, which is a gratitude board. I write one, two, three. And I know you do this too. Yeah. Um, kind of thing where I, I write, you know, three things I'm grateful for from that day and, and uh, why, you know, and then I have that on in my room and I look at that. And so I, We've got piano and, and that going on, and I think that's a cool way to end the day. And, and that piano has been. Way. That's how we end the day, too. We do gratitude at night, right? You say, I say, what are you grateful for? And then he asks me what I'm grateful for, which is good. That's uh, great. Okay. So I know that you also um, have been running. You ran a half marathon. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, that was, that was wild. I never <laughs> thought I would do that. But here we are. A month, a month ago, I, I nailed it. It was so fun. Yeah. And so that was with Mental Health um, America. Yes. Yeah, right. so I was I, at the at the beginning of this whole thing and the, the lockdown and everything. I said, you know, I'm going to try to find something to lean into the resilience because you know I, I I knew that it would bring out some anxiety in me and and and, mm -hmm. and all of us really, and I knew it was going to be a tough time for a lot of people and myself included. And I and so I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find some resilience. I'm gonna when those tough right. things start, you know, crawling in my mind and and. Uh, the bullies in my mind start showing up those voices, you know, the, the thought voices, you know, the, um, I'm going to, I'm going to find something to lean into that and, and become bigger than, you know, and that's where running came into place. I was, mm -hmm. I probably ran five miles max at, up to that point. I work, work out all the time. I'm very active, but I was never a yeah, distance a runner. runner. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to try something really way out of my zone. And, uh, I started doing it and I was just, I would just find myself when my mind would start to give up, because your mind usually gives up, you know, I mean, that's what starts happening is your mind sure. start, start making deals with your mind. Like your mind's like, oh, you know what, uh, you're crazy for doing this. Why are you doing this? And then why, why, why this and why that? And you're, you're like, and you just, you lean into that and you say, oh, no, I'm going to become bigger than this. On this mile, I'm going to focus and on use it. Yeah. And use that as your power. And sometimes yeah, wind would, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes wind, the wind would, I love it. That would be me. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> don't want the accent. Show him your shirt real quick. Show him. He put his music shirt on for you, oh, too. Oh, sweet. So yeah. Is that a banjo and a guitar? It's got everything. <laughs> Man, you're cool. Well, Brett, thank you so much. I am so grateful that we got a chance to do this talk. And I know that you did uh, five things that help you out. People can check out on GMA site. They can also go get Good Day. Go get this new album. Yes. Go, go check everything out. We are so grateful again for the time with you. We should say we're grateful for Brett tonight. Huh? That'll be one of our things. <laughs> All right. Keep playing that piano and have fun. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks again you for too. being with us. All right, Good to talk to you. We'll see you. <laughs>